Hello everyone, it's DevTech or Generic Poison, and I'm continuing my um, tutorial on build craft, on crafting the stuff. Um, this next part, I well, on the last part, I said I was going to do pumps, so bear with me as I explain to you guys the concept of a pump. Okay, um, let's start. Uh, first off, we'll need a tank. You can make this by uh, glass 9x9, nine nine. Uh, what am I saying, 8x8, eight eight, you know, and you'll get a, uh, a tank. I can show the recipes here actually, so why do I even bother explaining? So this is a tank, you build that, in order to get a pump, you will have to do a tank plus a mining well. You can build a mining well uh, as such, so three iron there, three iron there, an iron gear, and an iron pickaxe, and one redstone. Alright, so you combine those two, you get a pump. I've already done this, so, um, actually I think I needed something, but, oh yeah, I needed a tank to uh, store this stuff, you yeah, know, never, never mind. Anyway, um, let's start off with, uh, getting my pump. Here's a pump. I'm gonna put that right here and do not care about what anyone says about positioning. Um, right, so we're gonna need a wooden waterproof pipe to start extracting water and stuff, you know. Common sense. Hope you guys have enough of it. Then a cobblestone one to, the, you know, link it. Uh, and, well, I don't know, do I need that one, really? Waterproof, waterproof. You know what, I'm just gonna link it like that. And let's say we build a tank or two here. Uh, yeah, hold on. We'll build a couple of tanks here. Probably not gonna be that much water in there, but okay. Let's just, uh, let's just be sure. Right, people? Safety first. Everything else later. Alright, so, we have a, we have tanks to put stuff in. We have our pumping part, we have our pump itself. So, how do we get it to function? We can't, like, like the other engines just shove stuff in. So, um, we gotta take our engine. Let me just move that pump here. Tank, we won't be needing that. Uh, you wanna try a redstone engine, and it's gonna fail. You want to try a combustion engine, it might still fail, I'm not sure, but I know the steam engine works for sure, so let's use that, shall we? It does require powering, however, and I do have to place it right here next to the wooden, as I said in the last episode. However, it will require some kind of power, which would be... Um... This. A lava bucket. I know that. I kept this around here for some reason. There we go, and we put that in, and it would have a power source. Um, what am I saying? Well, yeah, a uh, thingy. How do you call that? Uh, energy source. Yep. Yeah, that's what what we call it. That's what we'll call it. I think at least that'll work. <laughs> it should. Um, I'm gonna leave that in. Maybe if I turn it on. Yep, yeah, there we go. So, the bucket is gone, which I wonder why, but, okay, we have that. It can pump, um, and I always screw myself the pooch on that. Um, hold on. We are going to move that. Bam. Okay, so, get my pump again. Get it out real quick. Yeah, you have to place it over water, obviously. Um, and now it could or would be sucking water. You can see the beam thingy there. Ah, uh, no, not two, one. Okay, so it's not pumping. Now, why would that be? Anyone have any suggestions? Well, I have one, because... All 
Alright, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I, uh... I just had to remodel my thingy for a bit. Okay, so, um... I replaced it. Um, yes, it, uh... It still is uh, the same way, wooden into the pump. Um, I just replaced it to a new location. A little bit over there, you know, with the, you know, two blocks of water, whatever. So, um, in order to pump the water, or whatever liquid you want to pump, you, uh, wow, I hear that noise. Um, you go and you give this some lava, or, uh, crude oil. I'm not sure if crude oil will take, um, or, uh, fuel. You put that in there in, with a bucket and it will vanish as soon as you flick the switch. This will start pumping water, but... No, works fine. There we go. Starts pumping water. And that will go into these tanks. Now, this water, uh... As you can see, it's, uh, it's ruining the water quite, uh, quite painfully. It's just, uh, randomly taking water from somewhere. And it wouldn't really matter if I, uh, filled up the water a bit. Hold on. There we go. That way, it will just take water and take water and take more water. It will keep going until it runs out of, uh, fuel. So it will keep, uh, dropping in here into these uh, tanks now what do we need water for? water is coolant so here we are getting some coolant um... this is not really necessary I was just uh, testing that out but yeah I misplaced it, I should have put the uh, steam engine there um... here instead of there so um... no it works fine uh... That being said, uh, okay, so we have this pump working, you know how to make a pump, you know how to store it in these tanks, uh, let me just show you guys for oil. Alright, so we have our little pumping station of uh, crude oil, as you can see, um, the oil does not regenerate as the water does, so for you guys, if you find a big abundance of uh, crude oil, take it with you. I mean it. Oil is precious, and you're gonna need every last drop of it. I made a, a 4x4, I think. No. 1, 2, 3, 4. A 4x5, um, 3 floor crude oil deposit and that's being drained into these tanks um... the oil will be very necessary for um... what do you call that? uh... for most of the machinery so the, the machines, you know, the lasers and lasers and whatever so I'm just gonna go bed before any zombies or anything spawn so I can't go sleep anymore so let's go do that bam, okay morning it's still pumping, don't worry, going to bed will not speed up or screw up anything. As you can see here, this uh, this uh, engine became uh, green. Uh, they become green when um, they're a bit more uh, heated. Green for, for uh, engines, green is a uh, good color. It means it's not too overheated. Um, but it's not too cold. Blue is really cold and they go slow, but once they hit green, they go a lot faster. That's a lot faster than uh, the other one is going. Um, and after green, they will hit red. Red means they're overheating. Um, but they will go, go a bit quicker again. And uh, once they start flashing red, you better make sure you uh, turn them off because that means they're gonna explode so turn them off when once they hit red just turn them off because they might get damaged or leave it on a little bit like I would 
advise count down from 10 seconds then turn it off if you can count from 10 I hope you do else you're pretty much screwed um okay so we're pumping in here's our oil there's our water now um we're gonna be building a refinery in the next um, part so um thanks for watching please comment rate and or subscribe if you feel like it I hope this would help you as it was very difficult for me to even think of all this up as I had no manuals or tutorials or YouTube videos to help me with this anyway um, don't forget I have a live stream that you guys can watch me play on I'm usually on it um, when I'm not I'm on my TeamSpeak channel um, I don't know if you guys have it it don't matter um, if you come on my live stream uh, it should be there somewhere uh, also the live stream link will be posted on this video like BAM and uh, don't forget I have a Twitter account so for those who of you who uh, use Twitter a lot you can follow my actions on there thanks for watching see you guys and uh, well see you on my next uh, tutorial